Hey gang, it's Stevie P back here with another Steve's Selfie Strength Tip. All right, today we're going to talk about coaching cues. Uh, you know, you see guys at the gym all the time and across the country every day, and you watch a couple goons squatting over there, and one guy's just screaming at the top of his lungs. The other guy, come on, ah, you can do it, come on. Ah, 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 ah. That is not helping anybody do shit, believe me. First of all, the guy lifted to probably have a fucking iPod on. He can't hear that anyway. Second of all, that's not very constructive, just screaming and yelling and making a lot of noise. It's not helping him at all. Uh, a coaching cue is not just the fact that you're screaming into the guy's ear. It's something that's going to actually help the lifter. So if you're, if you're deadlifting and your back is rounding and you want to be reminded to uh, you know, keep it straight, your training partner or your coach should have a good enough eye to say, all right, let's straighten that back, straight back, straight back. You know, so you're not folding over real bad on the beginning of your deadlift. Or when you're at the bottom of a squat, you know, a coach give you the chest up signal. Just to, just to remind you to really pull that chest up. Because sometimes you're in the moment, you're in the middle of the lift, and you're just thinking about nothing but psyching up and pushing that weight. You know, these things don't run through your mind sometimes, so you have to be reminded. It's very important sometimes to be reminded of these things. Certain lifters need it more than others, though. Um, an important piece of information, though, is... Don't be afraid to tell your partners exactly what you need to be cued on because a lot of times you know what you need to do. They don't really know. They're, they're paying attention to their own workout. They're not paying attention to yours. So don't be afraid to say, hey, Bob, hey, do me a favor, will you? Will you make sure that I keep my head up at the beginning of this deadlift because sometimes I look down, Bob, you know, and it fucks me all up. So it's important you tell Bob to tell you what to do. And I used to have my partners do this even during competitions in Highland Games. You know, my competitors, they were guys I knew. I'd say, hey, remind me to keep my head up on this stone throw because as I was spinning, I would always start putting my head down. And, and a lot of times, you're in the moment. Like I said, you're up there, you're all nervous, and you just put your head down and go. And that's what I used to do a lot because I wasn't ever thinking. I was just trying to throw hard. But when I started telling guys to cue me a little bit, it really helped me a lot, and I got much better, better throws out of it. So never be afraid to tell your partners or your coach, whoever it is, even though they're coaching you and they know what they're doing and they know you know what you're doing too. I mean, I need cues as much as anybody else. There's a lot of top lifters around the world that are all getting cues from their coaches as they're lifting. So don't be afraid to ask for those cues. All right? Just make sure you know what you need to be cued on before you do it. All right. That's a good tip for you there today. And uh, hopefully you implement that in your training. And I'll see you next time. Stevie P, signing out.